Hello, my little fusers. This is Tanya Viet from AAE Glass. We are doing a video on a new product release that we have, and they are high fire, two color fusible decals. And they're outlined in metallics, outlined in gold and platinum. They're fantastic. As you can see, I'm actually gonna do a little project tutorial using this plate that you see right now, which I love. It's a koi plate. Um, we've got 64 new designs that came out today. Today's Saturday, April 26. 64 new designs, and you guys can now buy them a la carte, which is the first time we're ever doing it. That's from your emails, so I appreciate your feedback because that makes us a better business. So I wanted to show you guys a cool project. I'm actually going to show you two, and um, I only have 30 minutes, so I really have to rush through this one. Like I don't always, right? And so, uh, but anyways, so that's what this is. This is a this is a black and gold decal, and they are high fire, guys. I have fired these at 1250, and I've gotten all the way up to 1500. This means slumping temperatures, full fuse temperatures. Um, these are fantastic. I can show you these in a pendant form. Um, you know, putting them on pendants, but I think, you know, you guys have taken classes with me and you've seen this on the video, so we're going to go big this time. So there are some decals that are larger, even up to four inches. The sizes are stated on the website, but it's for you guys to make accents on larger pieces. And we also are, are with the high fire, you can eliminate um, a decal firing. So now we have, uh, I'm sorry, a kiln firing. So now we have low fire and high fire. The high fire are always metallic. The metallic are always high fire, I should say. That's on the website. So don't get those mixed because we've had low fire for years. So, um, oh, I just love these. They're so fantastic. I'm going to show you a couple samples. Again, there's 64 designs. I'll show you some of my favorites. And then we're going to get into this awesome koi plate. Uh, then we're also going to do... A, could be a night light if you choose. This really cool. It's really hard. The, the, the decal is so, the gold's so brilliant that it's hard for John to get a good camera without the glare on there. Um, this is one firing with Frit and Vitrograph and the decal, and I fired it all in one firing. How fantastic is that? These are awesome for night lights. And notice that this Frit down here is um, metallic Frit, and I'm going to show you how to make metallic Frit. So we got a lot of work to do, ladies and gents, so let's get rocking and rolling. Okay. I want to show you guys a couple of my favorites, okay? So we have black and gold decals. And as you can see, this these were fired at around 1345. And in your uh, email, there will be a decal firing schedule and also on the website if you look under education it says decal firing tips, there's a ton of stuff on there including schedules, okay? Your decal should look like this, black and a nice shiny gold. Can you get that? This. How's that? No. Okay, so we have tigers, giraffes, outlined in gold. This is a fantastic one. Banyan tree, zebras. This is about two years in the making, this formula. This is a cool one. So all of the high fire ones are now, they're not just gold, and they don't rub off, guys. They are black and gold. I can't go any more than that. This? <laughs> okay, we have black and gold, white and gold, black and silver. Um, yeah, they're just fantastic. So I'm going to have... Okay, and then we've got, look at this, this is black and silver. They can be fired on any color glass. Art Nouveau cat, fish, butterfly, that's a cool, it's like a Zentangle fish. Okay, Art Nouveau ladies, these are all by your request. Unicorns, black and silver, fairy with wings. Um, this is just the black and silver, guys. Look at this cool owl face. Faith, hope, love, believe. Set of words. You can put these in your pendants. These are great for pendants, guys. The dog and the cat love. Okay. This is a cool one of the black and silver. And hope John can get this. This is a frame. What would you do with that? You would actually frame your dichroic piece with it, and this comes out to be a metallic frame. That's what there's two different kinds of frames. One's in gold and one's in um, black. Sugar skulls, day of the dead stuff. Huge seller, guys. Huge seller. Dragonfly, no brainer. Angel wings. Okay, here's some of the bigger ones that we have. Dragon, check this out, guys. Black, we have a black and silver, and then we also have a black and gold dragon. The koi fish, huge request for those. Okay, as a matter of fact, let me show you what the dragon looks like in a plate. You're gonna love this. This is, I just sneeze, of course. 
Excuse me. A black and red dragon plate. This is so simple. This is so simple to make. It's just black glass with a red insert in the middle, and then you've got the black and gold dragon um, right in the center there. What's on the outline here is a unique glass colors metallic paint that we just sponged. Um, we're distributors for unique glass col colors, and uh, we're proud distributors because it's a great product. So they're they're like the only people that I found that actually have them. When they say it's metallic, it's metallic paint, and I love them for that. So that's a pretty, this is a seller, guys. If you guys sell, easy, low cost seller right there. Asian decor, not my style, but a lot of people's style, okay? Um, yeah, so there's a ton. There's Fleur de Lis, Fleur de Lis. Oh, this is awesome. Yes, we have the tree of life in black and silver, gold and black. It's fantastic. And we have it in white too, in gold. I love it, I'm so excited. So the roots are metallic. Um, this is kind of weird, and but this is, I love it. This is a um, butterfly skull holding a skull. I know it sounds weird, but it's Day of the Dead stuff, Dia de los Muertos, and people love it. Peacocks, guys, we got a lot. Okay, so that's, you can buy them all individually. I'm not gonna go through each one. Oh yeah, just this one too. This one, look at that tiger face. Can you imagine these on pendants? So these are all around one inch. We've made them smaller per year request. We have larger ones for big work. Sugar skulls, big seller, guys. Can you get that? That's gorgeous, that white and gold tree. Okay, there's a dragon. I mean, there's a ton. Go on the site and look. Um, one thing that you guys need to know, and the only way for me to let you know this is to do it through a video, okay? The silver decals, they will come to you like this. That looks gold, doesn't it? The silver does not come out until you fire it. Okay, that's very important. Again, of course, your packages will be layered. Uh, I'm sorry, labeled uh, black and it's, if they believe it says silver will fire, silver will mature upon firing or something like that. But they look gold and it's actually a little darker, but they're not, guys. They're silver. So don't let that confuse you. They'll be la leave labeled for you, but just make sure when you buy gold and silver ones, you keep them separated in your home studio. Okay? All right, let's get ready to rock. Oh, I'm so excited about these. Okay, first, the koi plate. Okay, um, notice this. This is a reactive area. I'm not gonna get too much involved in this because this is a class and a lot of teachers are teaching it, bullseye teachers, and this is a great class to take. And um, bullseye, you can go to their website and they touch on reactive properties. But uh, vanilla, uh, French vanilla is a sulfur-based glass and foil reacts with sulfur-based glass. And so you get the, the reaction. And what is that reaction? That's that hue around the edge of the silver, wherever the silver meets, the edges touches the uh, vanilla, it causes a reaction. Now this is kind of funky because I sandblasted it and took some of it away to make it look kind of weathered, okay? But before that, it looks like this, okay? So these are strips of silver, silver foil, not leaf everybody, silver foil, okay? And of course we carry this on our website. We're distributors for all these products we're talking about. We're no longer a retail store. We are a wholesaler, retail, distributor. We are everything, okay? So come to our store and look under the Saturday um, supplies to get all this stuff. And of course I will email you guys a list as well. But anyways, so this is silver foil and it reacts with vanilla. And then I sandblasted some of that away. So I, these are just strips, okay everybody? All right, so here's how I did the koi. What we're going to do, I started with a Tekka base, and of course, um, all of this can vary to your liking. You can use different color glasses all the way up through, but this is a Tekka base, okay? Uh, forgot something very important. You guys are going to build on um, fiber paper. This is 1 8 inch fiber paper, and you can do smooth or rough side up for this particular thing, because um, I'm going to show you how to get this cool watery effect. If you look, it looks like rippling water. Oh, I love it. So if you guys can use this effect in many things, um, I'm not claiming to own this technique. It seems, seems to be a thing in the internet now that because I put a video on, I claim to own it. I don't, I don't do that. I work with stuff and then I make a project and I give it to you guys. So, um, but I don't teach anything that I've learned from other teachers. But um, this right here is a watery effect and I just thought about it last week. Well, wouldn't it be cool if we took some fiber paper and kind of shredded it up? And that's not new to anybody. It's really kind of basic kiln carving if you get down to it. Um, and, and it really worked. If you guys, if John, can you see that? It looks like rippling water, like the koi is swimming through it. I just love it, okay? So you're gonna build on a piece of fiber paper. It's 1 8 inch. Wear gloves. This stuff is irritating to your skin. It feels like I'm rolling in fiberglass when I do it, okay? Put your base right on top, okay? 
Actually, I already I already messed it up. Let's go back. Sorry, <laughs> I messed it up. Okay, all right. But I gotta show you this. So here, here's how the layup's gonna go. It's gonna go clear Tekka. Actually, I didn't mess it up. Okay, it's gonna go clear Tekka. Clear Tekka, which is six millimeters, three millimeters, six millimeter. And I'm gonna go nine millimeters for this plate. Everything I do that's large, I actually go to nine millimeters in most cases. I just liked the girth of it. I will give you guys a firing schedule. So it's nine millimeters, you will have to dam your piece. If you don't know how to dam, um, take a class with a, a, a teacher or Tanya Vieta, her, she's real good, okay? And you can learn how to dam pieces properly, okay? So I've got French vanilla for my reaction in the middle and I've got these two pieces right here. Um, that are Tekka that come on the end. This is a four by eight base. So I have a four by eight base, four by eight base for my volume. And then I've got five inches of Tekka and then an inch and a half each matching obviously the bases. And I want that clear. Five inches of French vanilla. Right, what'd I say? Tekka. Ah, boo, John. Okay, all right, so anyways, you get the point. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's what you're gonna do. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna take these end caps right here and I wanna make this watery effect underneath, okay? So once you've got your build up and all your glass cut, you're going to remove your pile, put your two end caps on right here, take a pen or a pencil, pause. Take a pen or a pencil and mark it out on your fiber paper how wide your strips are, just like that, okay? Right there, right there, right there, right there, okay? There we go. Now what you're going to do is take your 1 8 inch fiber paper and you're gonna rip it into small, and that's even too big. Please wear your gloves for this and wear a mask for this, everybody, okay? This silica gets in the air, You'll, you cough, it's terrible. I'm gonna make these little piles of ripped fiber paper. Of course, we're sticking to my gloves now. Okay, that's even a little too big, but just make these little piles, so on and so forth. So I kind of have them ripped up right here, so I'm just gonna kind of do this, okay? Uh, we don't want a lot. I want you guys to be neat about it. I don't have the video time to be neat about it because this is a free video and, and I can't, uh, 30 minutes takes me about four hours to upload and we have two to upload today, so I got a busy girl. All right, so anyways, you don't want it real thick. You want it to be thin. Take your time, take your time, smooth it out, okay? And there's going to be our water area. Now, if you want to make the water glistening, instead of using a clear Tekka, you would use an e clear iridized piece of glass, right? Okay, of course this can be blue. You can have a blast with this. Clear, and I would put the iridized down. So I put clear irid down to capture that impression. Okay, you could use a tint glass. You could, I mean, there's a ton of stuff you can do with this, okay? So then, I build up. If you wanna put a little dab of hairspray in the corners to do so with your needle tip bottle that you got from where, everybody? Say it loud, say it proud. John, he, John's so relaxed, I am not, and he, he always, he doesn't like to shout out loud. He doesn't like attention, okay. So, then I'm gonna build this up. Okay, give myself a little dash right here, build it up, boom, right there, okay? So then there's nine millimeters of glass, okay? Now, this is gonna go to a full fuse, okay? So you have an option, you can, I personally would full fuse this entire thing first, then I would add the decal and slump at the same time. You can bring these decals up to a full fuse temperature, guys, and I go to 1490 with this for 12 minutes, um, but the, Black will start to, to pull a little, I don't wanna say pull, it actually becomes transparent, which is pretty cool, and I'm gonna show you that in the next project. But, so I would full fuse this first, and then you can apply the decals, and then slump on the same firing. I'm also giving you that schedule, which is pretty fantastic, because that took a couple times to figure out. So, um, let's do the silver foil. The silver foil, you, you buy in books, and I think they're around $38 a piece, and you get 25 sheets of them. But what I did was I cut my silver foil into strips, and I just lay it on, like this. If you need to, just put a little hairspray in the corner to hold it, okay? You can put the foil between two index cards if you need to, if you're having a hard time dealing with it, if it's floating around or folding up on you. Da-da-da. Da-da-da. Okay? So on and so forth. 
I take this entire piece and I go to the kiln with it and I do my full fuse, okay? So this is how we got that cool watery effect back here. I love it. It's, it just works with the koi. It looks like the koi is rushing through the water, okay? So that's that. Once you're finished with your piece, it comes out of the kiln. Here's another one, okay? You can leave it. You can sandblast this to make it kind of ancient. Yes, sandblast the silver away. You can do less silver foil strips. You could do dots. You could paper punch it because um, this is quite a bit of reaction and it kind of spread onto the um, vanilla, French vanilla. Okay, so now I'm going to remove my gloves. I'm going to take my koi. These are black and koi. These are about two and a half inches long. Using warm water, I'm going to soak them in my dish. And now we wait. I could sing you a song, but I don't want to ruin your day. So um, you just kind of want to wait. It should be warm water. It should be distilled water or bottled water. Okay. And then it should come easily off the paper. We're going to go just, <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> okay. So you're going to put your koi's on. Okay, so we're using the metallic deco, so these are high fire, don't forget. I know we've done low fire for a long time, and now we have both. So then you're going to take, moisture is not your friend with any decal. You're going to take a paper towel, smooth it out to wipe out all the air bubbles, okay? You don't want crinkles in there, wrinkles in there, none of that stuff, okay? This is going to mature to gold upon firing, all right? These, the, these, this formula is so good, guys. There's a lot of room for error here, like 400 degrees worth of room. So go like this. I cannot go and put this in the kiln right now. I need to wait to that decal to dry. So I would let that dry overnight. Then I put it on my slumper, and I slump and decal fire at the same exact time. It is very important that your decal dries. If it doesn't, steam is going to come up from the decal, and it's going to remove the decal, um, or you're going to get a partial decal firing. So please let this dry overnight. If you're in a bind, hit it with a blow dryer. Do not hit it with a heat gun. Okay, we're going to go fast. Moving on. How much time do we have left? Okay. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so let's go with this one real quick. This is a seahorse, which I'm probably going to make into a nightlight, I think. I think it's pretty cool. Um, what this is is vitrograph right here. This is a frit blend, and this is um, metallic frit. It's special. I, I get it from, um, I actually mine, mine in rock caves, and I find this stuff. No, I don't do that. I'll show you how it looks, okay? It's, it's $800 an ounce, and if you contact me on the side, I can make that happen for you. No, I'm totally kidding. Okay, so what we have is, this is awesome, guys. Okay, so this is two, this is a decal. It's the same. Can you get it, John? Okay, this decal has been fired at 1345. Okay, you can see it's white and gold. It still has the white very strongly in there. And so I did a contour fuse, which is a little bit more than a tack, at the same time as a decal firing. Awesome, okay? This is a decal that's using unique glass colored bubble paint, found on our website, of course. And I fired it at 1500 for 10 minutes. I can't believe it. It's all one firing. I cannot believe it. It stayed. It was fantastic. The gold is perfect. The white is actually translucent. Love it. Okay, so what did you learn from that? You can get, and I can see the bubbles now through the seahorse. If you want a translucent look, and this is good for you guys with pendants, you can actually fire these decals on a full fuse. Okay, everybody, you got that? If you want the color to be translucent, including the black, I think this would work better with the white ones, actually, um, to have show your die crow through whatever, you can go to high temperatures, okay? It's between 1450 and 1500. If you want it to stay white, and opaque, you're gonna take it to where it's supposed to be around 1345. All this is on the website. Nobody have a freak out here, okay? All right, so here's how I made that little ditty. I took a piece of glass, okay? This is the sea white seahorse and gold decal. It's a three millimeter. Yeah, this is Tekka. This is the white, uh, what is this? The white seahorse. It's about three inches. It's pretty big, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and soak that. You're gonna love this. You'll love it. You'll want some more of it. I think that's a song. I, leave, I don't know, I, I tell everybody, I say it around the studio all the time, it's kind of fun around here, you guys should come by, visit me down here in Cape Coral, Florida, by the islands, Sanibel Island, Captiva Island, 15 minutes away. 
I believe I, I earned the right to plug my studio while I'm <laughs> soaking the decal. <laughs> uh, we got guest artists coming this year. We have Amanda Taylor coming in June teaching glass casting manifestations. Awesome. Um, I've got some big guest artists coming for the fall program. We've got lots of stuff, lots of new stuff coming. Okay, so now I take my decal and I put it on my glass. I position it where I want. One firing, guys. This is fantastic, okay? So I'm just going to contour fuse this. All right, there it is. Really make sure all the bubbles are out, okay? And you know how you know it's too wet? Because it's moving around on me. So just put your hand down and just smooth over everywhere. I'm going too fast because I know I'm running out of time, so I'm trying to be a little bit, uh, I'm, I'm being messy is what I'm doing, okay? So there we go, that's wet. We know that's wet still. Just because you use paper towel doesn't mean that you can still use it, okay? So then what you're going to do is, Make a little frit blend. This is kind of redundant. I did this in my first video um, with the unique glass, uh, unique glass colors. Okay, it's a little frit blend, French vanilla, woodland brown. Guys, whatever you want it to be to make it look like a beach, okay? Um, so for this, we want a beach. You got French vanilla, woodland brown, medium amber in here. I use turquoise. I use spring green. I use... Um, Whatever I want to use. A lot of Mod Podge stuff, okay? I make it kind of chunky. I notice I'm putting this right over the decal. Yeah, I did it. I said it. I put it right over the decal because I'm that crazy, okay? So you can be that crazy because that's how strong these decals are, okay? I put it right over. Um, this is kind of cool. This is Unique Glass Colors Gold. So all of the metallics work doing this technique, okay? So we're going to shake this up. Okay, and this unique glass colors, uh, metallics, you do not need a medium for this. You just stir it up in the jar, okay? So to get that cool uh, effect with the metallic, you just take the metallic, okay, and just let it drop on your frit. Hold on, hold on, okay? Just let it, just drop it. You can even put it in a squirt bottle. I like, to, you know, I'd like to, you know, not waste material, so I just use the stick. You're gonna drop it, you're dropping it, Boom, let it go, watch, ready? Drop it, drop it, okay? Let it smooth, let it smooth, what am I talking about? Let it ooze, let it ooze, okay? Let it ooze, look it, it's already happening. This this is how you um, make your frit look metallic. So just that little tip alone, I'm sure you guys will use in 40,000 things, right? Okay, you could add some vitrograph if you'd like. Vitrograph is also a good class to take. Find a studio in your area or fly to me, either one. Um, and you can put some vitrograph on it. Okay, now, I don't like that one. I like that one, okay? Kind of put these on here, I don't like that one. There's this one. These are some sea plants that we make here, okay? This entire thing, I would like you to let dry overnight, at least 12 hours. Don't take a blow dryer to this for obvious, obvious reasons. What's going to happen? Your frit's gonna blow everywhere. So just let it dry, and then you're going to fire it to the contour, let's say that one more time, let's rewind. Contour firing schedule that I'm putting in the email for you guys. One firing. And this is a great way to make your frit metallic. That is coming out to this. If that's not ridiculous, I don't know what. Easy seller, guys. Boom, 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 out the door. Um, there, we have large decals. We have dragons. We have koi fish. Uh, we have peacocks. I mean, this is a great line of stuff for you. And um, if you guys can't find the nightlight kits, uh, they'll be on the site this, this week. So, But everything else is on the website, aaeglass.com. I hope you've enjoyed, enjoyed these two projects. Guys, have fun with those metallic decals. I've been talking about these with my students for two years that we've been trying to come up with a two-color metallic, and it works, and it's here. Um, and that's a think about all for my show. Bye, everybody.